Hey everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor, and we got a new shave of the day, and today we got, well, let's try out Sterling Sandpiper. Hmm, it's an interesting scent, and when I smell this, there is a little, it's a woodsy kind of, uh, it's very, kind of a freshly mowed grass, woods with a slight citrus uh, aspect to it. So if you ever just mowed the lawn and you have, you know what, it's like part of it reminds me, it's like you just come in from mowing the lawn and you crack open a Belgian uh, uh, ale and you crack it open and you start smelling it and you got that combination of scents going on. Hey, it's <laughs> what comes to mind. I don't know, it's like that's what the brain says. But uh, we're also going to be using my uh, Gillette uh, Slim today with some Astro Blades. It's 1964. And then we'll follow up with a little Panad Clubman. Uh, I was just like going through this after I lathered it all up in the bowl. And I'm like, wow, what does it smell like? What would go with it? Now, after I lathered it up in the bowl, I definitely get that. Now that I'm just thinking about it, I do get that Belgian ale. You know, there's aspects of Belgian ale. is like there's orange. A lot of them put uh, different kind of spices in their ales when they make it. And that's what I'm getting off of it. And I do have a little bit of that wood smell, woodsy, grassy smell too. So, hey. All right. Got some Barbasol pre-shave on there. Yep, 1919. Works really good as a pre-shave. Just put a little bit of moisture on the face. Have the water go flying all over the place. Hey, you can't have a shave without water hitting the ceiling, right? I don't know. If you got water hitting your ceiling, you're getting pretty wild. Alright. Okay. And if you ever wondered, this is my spatula. I got my little spatula. I've had this thing for years. Come with uh, a little, uh, it's like a little bullet-like thing that you can blender and like we never use it's like ask my wife you ever use that she goes no i got a use for it yeah that's for scraping it out putting it in there all right just things you think about when you're sitting there in the kitchen going you know what i could use that yeah i don't want to get it on my face i'm definitely smelling a green woodsy kind of grass smell Coming out. There is a little bit of citrus with this. Not much. It's not over. There is a slight floral aspect to it, too, that I'm picking up. Uh, so I'm not sure. Let's see what said. I think this should be on three. Yep, it's on three. Oh, it's three with these is my f three or four is really good setting for me when I go to shave. That razor is singing. It's gliding over. Hope everybody's having a good day. Not much going on today. We got a nice day today. Let's get up really hot today. Up in the 40s. We're like 40, I think it's supposed to be like 42 degrees Fahrenheit today. Really hot. It's like, yeah. Means all of our snow is going to start really melting today. It's really annoying. And then you get uh, winter. It's like everything's turned brown and dull and dead you know like ugh. like if it's winter it's supposed to be either white and stay white until like march or april but now i guess that They had a lot, some snow down in Texas. I 
which they had like an inch. Does that bring like an inch of snow down south? Does that bring the world to a cataclysmic end or something where everybody's like yelling and screaming and it's like the apocalypse has happened? I don't know. For me, that's just uh, hey, gotta go do a little bit of work outside. Almost have to mow the lawn, you know, that type of deal. Yeah, but on the like we had our big old blizzard here a couple weeks ago. We had a foot of snow. What does this crazy fool does? Me? I go for a walk. And things I like doing, getting outside. Me, winter means winter sports. Man, that was a snot locker. Oh, that was smart. All right, there we go. Let's go across the green now. It's soap all over the place now. But, like, growing up is like, winter means going out there and getting out in, in the snow and playing and going sledding, snowmobiling, ice fishing. Everything that you can do outside. And again, probably because growing up, your only choice was in the winter time you could sit inside and have to deal with your cooped up brothers, all six of them, which ended up in arguments and stuff. And I understand, I really understand why my mom said, get out, guys, go out the house, get out of the house. Do not come in until it's almost dark and that's dinner time. That was usually about four o'clock. Then you had to go out and do chores, eat dinner. A lot of it was mom didn't want uh, us to interfere with her soaps that she would watch. Because we'd want to be in the living room playing and watch what we want to watch. So she's like, get out of the house. So you go outside and play. It's like, hey, 40 below, that's the big deal. Just a little bit of cold. Make sure you put your parka on. You weren't stupid enough to go outside without it. One thing that just shocks me is like my son. He came over to the house the other night. Then he moved out during the summertime. Caught myself there somehow. And uh, he comes in. It's like 15 degrees or so. He comes in the house. He's wearing a light jacket and shorts. I'm like, what happens if you get stranded? Well, I just have to call somebody. I'm like, you're going to be cold. You wouldn't catch me going out there like that. No. I guess I'm just a mindset. If you're going out, it's going to be going on at site anywhere. Be prepared. Oh, look at all that big old blob of lather still left in the bowl. And where do you think you're going? Hmm.
Oh, this thing is like everywhere. Not a bad scent. It's not really, once you lather it up, there's, the scent is stronger on the puck than it is um, on the, uh, after you lather it. It's kind of interesting. A lot of times you smell a lot of different stuff. But, Hmm. Okay. Oops, what did I just do? Open this thing back up. There. All right. Somehow I turned a knob on it. All right. Can hear that blade working good. It's biting. Yeah, I'm a, it's like you in my truck. You're gonna find a couple blankets and extra sweatshirts and or extra coveralls usually like if I'm going someplace like you never know if you're gonna get a flat tire you have to crawl around on the ground I guess that's that boy scout thing coming out be prepared And a lot of bit of military training. It's like if you're going out in the field, you can't use what you don't have. That's the thing. If you don't take it with you, how do you know you're not gonna like you're not gonna have it? Yeah. Uh, something big just drove by. Whole house just shook. Get these semi trucks go by on the street once in a while. Going up the hill. I guess one of the worst things is, is 2, 3 a.m. and you're laying in bed trying to sleep and all of a sudden in the summertime, get these guys with their Harleys, straight pipe, thinking that, oh, it's really cool. And then at 3 a.m. they're driving by and going up the hill and they crank it up and the whole house goes, <sighs> you're like, I'm trying to sleep. It's like, my motorcycle don't sound like that. Somehow they think that you need to you need to hear I have a bike at uh, three miles away.
quarter there. Yeah. I'll tell you, the scent, like I said, it isn't very strong once it's lathered. Because I'm barely smelling anything right now on me. Which is, a lot of times, it's some of the stuff that you get smells like you're just shaved with cologne. And it's just really strong and it sticks with you all day. This will fade away pretty quickly. This, I'm bleeding. That's dumb. Just a little bit stinging here and a little bit on here. That's about it. Blech. Okay. Time for some Panade Clubman. A little bit of that to add some scent to the little bird burn. Right here, and right here, right there. A little bit stinging. Okay. Close it up. Got a little bit extra. I wonder if the vanilla might have been better. But, you know, sometimes you just go with it. Well, that was the Sandpiper from Sterling. Got a, there's a lot of scent, more scent coming off of it on the puck, but once you lather it up, it has a slight transition, but it seems to uh, fade away pretty quickly. It's not overly strong. Like I said, it's just like when you got it, the lather, it's not overly strong. It smells like mown grass, with a kind of a woodsy mown grass with something else in there, kind of a slight floral scent to it. Not unpleasant, not very strong. So if you get something that uh, you don't feel like you need to, you really like strong scented stuff, this might be for you. All right, so that was with the Gillette Slim with some Astro Blades. Good shave as always, 1964. All right, hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.